I used to walk in and give extemporaneous speeches, not knowing I was going to do that until I walked in the door. So when people were talking about roles today, I got to thinking about some of the roles I've had in Toastmasters, not office roles, not official roles, just what you do as a person. In 92, I first joined Toastmasters, Gold Country. At that time, they had 42 members. There were always at least 30 people in a meeting, sometimes more, 35, 36. So my role was peon. No, no, no. <laughs> we don't have peons. I was a listener. <laughs> a very important role, as I found out later. I was there about six to eight months when one of the members came to me and said, there's a new group that has started, Tuesday Night Live. Nobody's ever been in Toastmasters before, and they're struggling. Will you join that group? Come in as president and help get it started. Listener, president. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to learn how to do something, do it. Officially commit yourself and get into the job, both feet. It was an experience. The people were wonderful. And I learned so much, so much so that I kept going to Gold Country because Toastmasters is a lot of fun. I heard about a group in Sacramento called Toastmasters on Television. It aired on public access channels in Sacramento. I don't know what other area, but I know it aired in Sacramento because I got feedback from people, like relatives. <laughs> 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 so Toast Tuesday Night Live went on for a while and we did struggle and that is when we got down to like five and six people would show up at a meeting. I would come in and go, I'll give a speech. Not knowing, I would say, give me a topic. Okay. Wonderful experience. You should try it. You can do it here. There are opportunities. <laughs> and it doesn't take a lot of grit. It just takes some brain fog. <laughs> but you don't know what's going to come out. You don't know what kind of speech you're going to give. And you don't realize how much acceptance you get from the group, how much support, how much feedback, good feedback you get from people, and how much self-confidence you get until you do something like that. It's amazing. Tuesday Night Live struggled for a while, and it eventually folded. Just, we could not get the people to come. I was still in gold country. Toastmasters on television was having a problem. The main people who ran the entire thing burned out. So that has since revived, come back from the ashes, and reconstructed itself. And Gold Country, hmm, it no longer has 45 people. It has quite a few. But it's still going. Yay! And I dropped out for a while. I just got burned out. I don't know why, but I did. I had taken the role, officially, of I think every office there is at one time or another. It's great. And I probably learned more by doing stuff like table topics and some of the unofficial roles and listening. 
I realized how important the role of listener audience was when you only have five or six people in a group, you want an audience. You don't care if they participate other than being there to listen. It's important, really important. I, I left Toastmasters for probably about 10 years. And it's been only a little over a year ago that I joined this group. I wanted to get back into a group that had great camaraderie, great support. It was also a social group, even though we come in and we sit down, it is. And it's another role that I came in as. I was back to being a listener. And quite frankly, that's all I wanted to be. That's all. I was burned out on everything else. But it, you come into a group like this, and all of a sudden, you get energized. You start wanting to participate more. You want to do more for everybody around. You want to support them. It's just the way this is set up. You're in a bunch of people that you never would have met any other way. A diverse group. And it's like, yes, let's go for it. So a few times I've thought, now I used to give speeches off the cuff, not in my pocket, actually prepared three months ahead of time. But no, I walk in the door and I sit down and I think, hmm, could I do that? That's what I did today. Scared me. I'm shaking. But you know what? I am so glad I did it. And I think I'm finally starting to get back into a Toastmaster mode. Thanks all of you.